Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a team that Elodi Colo was playing on his Twitch stream. I'll put that link in the description below to his stream. But he was using a mon that I have yet to see so far in Master League, and it's Tapu Coco, which just finished coming through raids, but it was in raids a long time ago as well. Um, so yeah, I wanted to just showcase Tapu Coco here. Um, it's a pretty big core breaker to Master League. It's going to be destroying the dragons as you double resist everything. Although its um, stat product is pretty low, uh, the fact that you double resist the dragons is going to gain you enough right there. Then it hard counters Lugia because it double resists the dragon tail and then also resists any of the flying moves since it has that electric typing. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get into the games. And uh, here we go. All right, so Dialga, uh, Origin Form Dialga lead. I actually think Dialga lead might be the worst thing for this team. Um, as you're also seeing here, our Dialga is uh, what we're using to safe swap. And then um, we, we have Thunder, whereas they had Roar of Time. And the reason we have Thunder is because if you noticed on, our Kyo on his Kyogre was that uh, he does have Blizzard. So really going for the one-shot capability in a late game's no shield scenario. Um, which I can get behind. So their opponent already double shields through this first matchup, and he is able to get through the matchup. Both of them have hundos, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, gonna come in with Tapu Coco, double resist for our time, single resist or a neutral, I guess, Iron Head. Um, that still did a ton, considering. Um, he's gonna go for a switch out here. One of those incinerates damage actually goes through onto the Kyogre because of the timing of those moves, so really well timed there. Um, if this is Spatial Rend, we're gonna be pretty low and probably not be able to make it to a Blizzard, so gonna have to just throw this Surf. It is double resisted. Opponent doesn't have any shields, so they're not gonna be too scared of anything here. This is gonna be really tough because if they get to a move, which they're out of move right now, then we have to shield it, and then we're not gonna be able to one-shot uh, uh, Ho-Oh. Maybe if we undercharge this and able to farm it all the way down, okay, it does undercharge, but ends up doing a ton of damage. Well, good to know that though for the future matchups, uh, Nature's Madness does a ton of damage. Uh, but yeah, this Ho-Oh is gonna take us out with the Brave Bird here, even though it is resisted. All right. Lugia. Okay, they we end up switching out because our two things in the back are really good against Lugia. Obviously, this is going to go Sandseer Storm, and it's going to be pretty bad. But we do get to a move uh, before they get to two, so technically we do uh, get a shield here. And maybe maybe they think we're going for Roar of Time, but they would shield either way, even though we are um, reduced. Although they don't get to farm us down, which is why which is really good. Otherwise, we would have to get we would get another shield on them, and we're not going to shield um, Kyogre, I imagine here. And he's just going to go into two shields with Tapu Koko again. Tapu Koko, insane against Lugia. So that's one mon we don't have to worry about. So down to one shield here could be like a Palkia in the back. Um, it does end up being Palkia. Okay. Nature's Madness, we saw, does at least 50%. I don't know how much it actually does, but um, shielding... Okay, actually, I didn't even think about that until just now. I was like, uh, the the Aqua Tails, even though they are buffed, they're pretty low damage, but I forgot we resist everything Lugia has. So, um, yeah, we're good to just shield uh, the Palkia. Um, one thing to think about here, though, is if they do get to... Um, Okay, they just throw Sky Tech. We don't have to worry about any uh, any Arrow Blasts. I was going to say, if they get to Arrow Blast, it might still do a ton to where we do have to shield. We can always switch. Okay, he goes for the switch in the farm down. Interesting play. I think it's a really good play because this still has to go for a move, and we have the Blizzard, right? We're going to see how much a neutral Blizzard does. Neutral dam uh, Blizzard actually got a damage increase like three seasons ago. But it was already an insane move, so it just takes a ton of energy to get to. All right, we're seeing basically the same exact thing play out here. Um, I wonder... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was it Palkia lead here, actually? Okay, a little bit different. Could still be Lugia in the back. That is something we have to think about. Again, they're going to shield this every time. Lando, or Landorus, not exactly the most bulky mon. So um, definitely going to be scared of moves. 
We'll come right back in with uh, Kyogre here. Again, not really going to be shielding anything that this Lando does. It It's going to go down in... Oh, it's actually... I was like, it's going to go down in three. Actually, it's going to take four here, which probably taking... Oh, interesting. I actually did think that was going to be a Stone Edge. Okay. Okay, it's a Ho-Oh, but we have two shields this time, so we can just wait for them to throw a move, and then we're going to throw one more Volt Switch, and then maybe go for the Thunderbolt, I think. Yeah, we're at 100 energy, so I think they're going to shield either way. Um, oh, they actually don't shield. Okay, then we just Nature Madness twice. And this should be GG. Wait, how much HP do we have? Okay... Um, I think I would no shield this to be on. Really, we're one away, but I feel like they're also gonna get there. Okay, no, okay, great. I was like, Kyogre can still take this out, it's not too bad. Oh, they had the shield still too, right? Okay, Surf double resisted, but they're super low, even though it's a Palkia O and it does have a lot of defensive stats. It's way too low to uh, survive one of those. Avalug, okay, really good lead. Oh my god, into the perfect swap. Okay, I have time for water here, because this will take a while if we can go for infinite energy, or I wonder if the, he, okay, I think he's going to the bay here, so that he, he can maybe try to get a shield here. Okay. Oh, I think we're going to see the arrow blast. Okay, he's just going to farm it all the way down. Yeah. Not too scared of a sky attack here. We saw earlier it did like 35%, so it's probably gonna half our HP from here, almost half. Maybe it does about 30%, 25, 30. Okay, Avalug coming back in. We have, are loaded on moves. Nature's Madness is a really good move. Um, it's gonna be, actually did a lot less damage than I thought. But the thing is, um, yeah, okay, wait. That one looked like it did more. Okay. All right, we're probably gonna come in Kyogre and one-shot this thing. <laughs> oh, could come in also Dialga, and that's just GG. Yeah, it wasn't gonna get to another IC win there anyways, so Zacian lead, okay. So when I'm running Zacian, I definitely have Wild Charge. We're gonna see if they have go Wild Charge and Dip. They're gonna go up to two, okay. Okay, you live one, but you're gonna be in the red, deep in the red. Oh, they swap in a Togekiss. Okay, we're going to come in. Tapu Koko here. Um, can't afford to stay in to try to get moves either. Can maybe get close to another Surf when the Zacian comes back in. We'll have to check that out. Neutral damage here. Definitely going to KO the Togekiss. Um, he still has a move on Zacian. So it's possible to come back in Zacian, farm up just a little bit more. Although they came in way too close to the timer here. I think our timer's not even up. Oh, they want to go for farm down. Nice. Okay. Smart play by the opponent. But they are double reduced at this point. Probably just let this go. And now we're having to go two shield Dialga into the last matchup, which is probably going to be good. Um, oh, this is pretty rough. So our opponent's definitely going to go straight Moonblast here. So the question is, do we not shield the first one in anticipation of that? called it <laughs> i've not seen these battles <laughs> but um yeah this makes sense because if they were going to go for oh interesting now we just two shield farm down both mon uh zation's not at a move and this thing's going to take too long to get to moves it, it's not going to get to three moves though is what i mean obviously it's going to get to two here so, so when i say not fast enough i mean not fast enough to get to a move that's going to actually matter in this game um, yeah, Zacian farm down, Xerneas farm down, ABA Fairy is an interesting choice, but it makes sense with Zacian in the front because Zacian has such good coverage. Um, probably running Wild Charge and Close Combat. Also, not only the coverage, but it also can just like hit and dip. The same thing a lot of mons do with Superpower and Great League. Um, yeah, so not gonna rag on them too much for that because i think it's actually really good um okay lugia again we saw last time when they got up to aeroblast they uh we ended up shielding but um maybe that's the way he just plays it out okay gets the uh debuff here still goes for the shield and definitely just gonna farm down here 
again. So with the, oh no, that's gonna live. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh my gosh, one HP. Is it best buddied? Is this, it, it does have the badge, but I don't know if it's actually best buddied. 4186, someone in the comments let me know if that is above the normal hundo. Cause it might not even be a hundo because it's a shiny. It's tough to say. All right, uh, Xerneas is gonna get double hit here. I think this was a CMP here on the second one. Oh, it was not. Okay, gets the debuff. Gonna let this go for sure and just come in Kyogre and farm this down. Could even come in, well, no, I'd come in Kyogre. I was gonna say like last time he came in Dialga, this one coming in. All right, similar, same exact team actually. Okay, Lugia in the front. We really need to be switching into Dialga here um, because we really want Tapu Koko on this and we don't want to, man, Apex Lugia looks sweet. Um, and we don't want to um, have Kyogre taking neutral damage, you know what I mean? At least they pull out the Dialga here, but we're lower. They're going to go for a full farm down, I think, or maybe even go for an Iron Head if they lose their um, their grit. Okay. Could shield to do damage, but we're just going to come in with probably Tapu Koko. Yeah. Makes sense. Can take one move here, although I think I would probably shield. Yeah. So you're going to want this Tapu Koko for the Lugia. And it's possible that in the back is Palkia. So it might be just a Tapu Koko game against all three Mon. And if that's going to happen, I like the Undercharge to go for the farm down here. Um, and if that's going to happen, we're going to want a lot of uh, energy, HP, everything. Okay. It is a Tapu game but we're gonna come in this. It's also kind of a Kyogre game because Kyogre's neutral against both of those Mon. So it's just kind of neutral Mon here on our side and then um, really good Tapu on our side as well. So, or I was gonna say neutral Mon on the opponent's side. Oh, that's GG. He can just not even shield this Kyogre and force everything through here. You know, um, Metagross is actually, I think, really good in this league. I wish it had more stats. Um, it would be insane, but it's okay. All right, we bait out the Ho-Oh. Technically, we beat it to this Thunder um, before it gets to Sacred Fire, which is if you're in the neutral matchup, you actually get to Thunder at the same time. But since we got a little bit of a lead on energy because we swapped first, we were able to beat him to it. Um, but just for y'all to know, um, it is you get there at the exact same time as uh, 20 turns, so... All right, we'll take one Brave Bird. Interesting. They farmed up to a ton. Oh, he wants to keep Kyogre around. Okay. Ooh, they end up having the Palkia. Okay, this is still fine. Um, it is. It does take Dialga a lot longer to get to its moves. We're definitely going to shield Dialga. Um, its move hurts a lot more than the um, uh, than the Palkia. Yeah, definitely shield this. Maybe go for like two more volt switches I would like. Technically, you could go for maybe three, although it's really close to getting the energy um, cap here. So, ooh, could we go for three? No, we couldn't have. Okay. We're really close to the blizzard. So farm down blizzard is what I'm thinking. Uh, how much does this Blizzard do? We're really about to find out how much a neutral Blizzard does here against the Palkia. So, okay. I think we lose. Because <laughs> it gets to Spatial Rend here. Yeah, GG. That's a tough one. It's a tough one. So uh, this is three sets, by the way. Uh, I think you went 4-1 in every set. Another of like the exact same team. Uh, still going to get to the Thunder first. Nice, good timing. Um, we're gonna have to do some more with tap. Oh, we got the shield, okay. Well, this happened last time too, so that's fine. Oh, although, okay. No, this is exactly what happened last time. So yeah, coming back in with Kyogre, gonna farm it down. Okay, this is probably an early Brave Bird. I just thought of early bird, like an early bird special at a restaurant. I don't know why. Okay. Um, 
gonna probably switch to Tapu Koko here. It's the exact same lineup. They're staying a lot longer with Palkia though. So this is better for us because Nature's Madness is actually just super effective instead of neutral. And uh, we're technically taking less damage from these moves. They do end up catching on Lugia. Oh, it was a Lugia lead. I thought it was um, Roar of Time lead. Uh, so this is fantastic for us. Probably going to end up shielding the... Well, hmm. He's at more than one Aqua Tail. Oh, okay. I guess that just KO'd. Okay, then we just double shield. We get to a Nature's Madness, and that's GG. Because he's going to get to two Aqua Tails. Um, could even technically let this go and just rely on the bulk of Kyogre. Um, because you're going to get in this into, like, Surf range eventually. But no, this is this is gonna KO for sure. So GG. Kyo versus Kyo. This is actually was this a simul swap? I'm not sure. <laughs> so technically, you can live one. Um, I was gonna say you live one close combat. So I like just taking the move, but they're just gonna. I guess. I guess this works too. Oh, they have, they went play rough. Okay. I will say more times than not, when Azation is switching in, they're wild charge play rough, but that's just me. Yeah, this guy's definitely wild charge play rough. Okay, we won the switch. I don't know how much that means. So this could be double fairy in the back, just like our team that we showed with uh, uh, from For the Battles, but it could just be with... Um, Primarina, and then, no, it's probably Xerneas, if I'm being honest. I guess it still could be something like Togekiss. But, um, yeah, we end up taking one of the shields and then KOing it on the other. Okay, that's not great. Okay, it was Xerneas. Probably just come in Kyogre, right? Yeah, that's just GG. Plus, it, it just loses to Kyogre anyways, but also going to be taking a second mon, so he decided to just uh, top left, which makes perfect sense. All right, uh, losing switch again. It seems like we're losing switch a lot with this team, so if, be ready to lose switch, but to gain shield advantage and therefore end up gaining either energy advantage as well or just two shielding um, uh, nature's madness through things. Opponent got super greedy. Okay, we showed three, two or three opponents already that um, ended up throwing twice at the Dialga. You see right here, if you're the Lando against the Dialga, please throw twice. You are not going to make it. They, you're not going to be able to farm it down. Even though they stayed in a longer time with the their Dialga into our Dialga, um, they were trying to get it low enough to farm down. I get what they were trying to do, but obviously this just did not work out. All right, now we have an energy advantage, a two shield advantage, and we're double resisting Dragon Breaths. You're just going to shield once through this Dialga matchup. Depends. Um... They already have a little bit of energy, but to be fair, we're just going to make it to two before they make it to two. So depends what they kind of have in the back. Um, I would get as much energy as possible, but we might just be throwing right away. Maybe one over. Okay, they ended up switching. Oof, Lugia. Oof. That's all you can say with Tapu Koko and the Lugia. It's just an oof. Um. Yeah, GG. Oh, interesting. Zygarde lead. Okay. They stay in for a very long time into this matchup. So Zygarde, pretty bad against our team. They definitely didn't go up to an Earthquake here, so that was weird. Oh, they just wanted to do damage before coming in with their own to go for like a farm down. Okay, but we have technically Roar of Time Energy, so they end up shielding. They might just farm us all the way down, but we'll get one more Iron Head through. Okay, they got scared. Uh, we weren't even at another Iron Head, so weird to throw here unless they just wanted to save HP which maybe that's what they are trying to do. Probably going to come in Tapu Koko. So one thing to really think about, and what I noticed at the very beginning of the match was we do have Blizzard against this Zygarde, which probably one-shots it. It's double super effective. Zygarde is one of the bulkiest... It is. What am I saying? One of the, It is the bulkiest mon in Master League, but I doubt it can handle a two times damage... Um, uh, a double super effective blizzard I, I mean i think we're just gonna go for it here although kind of surf looks like it'll be enough right probably shield this yeah kyogre's really good against both of these mon oh it has outrage 
I've never seen one with Outrage. I've always seen Crunch Earthquake. Okay, weird. Um, definitely going to be able to farm down. They'll get a Crunch off, but that's fine. Were they at three? Two or three on Solgaleo. Okay, we have two here. So they if even if they were at three, we can throw it back to back. And then we still have the Tapu Koko. Um, yeah, and it's not really going to be threatened by anything. Nature's Madness to try to go for the debuff. Although Flamethrower... Uh, no, Iron Head probably does the most here. So we'll see if they have Iron Head. Ooh, they do have Iron Head. Okay, they can farm us down. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. It was so close. Oh, rip. They got to the Psychic Fang. Okay, they had Iron Head. I think that was their main win con seems like we're losing every lead and every switch but somehow still winning most of our games so that is a testament to the team and the player uh, as well so definitely this team already filling out the requirements that i had although i don't have a tapu coco but if you have a tapu coco i definitely would just be playing this team because it looks like it doesn't matter if you lose switch um if you lose lead and switch you just really need to try to take the um shield advantage going into the, the last uh, mon tapu coco and even though it is le a lot less bulky than most of the legendaries in this league it still obviously seems good enough might go for the one shield farm down here that's what i think i would do or i maybe try to swap in right here i think you have to shield oh <laughs> why would opponent bait um okay weird okay we still have the blizzard oh my god it's this team again okay so palkia no dialga palkia lugi uh ho is it yikes team <laughs> all right Tech if we're one away we win this matchup and then we're gonna go for the blizzard okay nick I think I would shield this because we already have the blizzard, right? Okay, this is great. So we nature's madness right away. We don't actually go for another one. We might get the debuff. Then we go for another nature's madness. They're going to have to throw. Although I think we CMP. Oh, they got there one turn before us. Still, they had to throw. And this looks like it's in blizzard range. Okay. This is where blizzard outshines thunder for sure. Because thunder doesn't KO. Mm. Right there. <laughs> nice. Another Dia shiny Dialga. Shiny Dialga with a higher CP than ours was their best. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, can I go back here? Wait, wait, wait. I want to go back. Wait, was it best buddied? Oh, sorry about this, guys. I really want to see. Is this guy best buddied or is this a hundo? What's the hundo? They have a higher CP than ours. I see something in the top right. Best buddied. It hasn't been out that long. Okay, this guy uses Poffins. Okay, this is where Thunder is going to be better than any other move because Heatran resists everything Dialga does except Thunder. Although I'm freaking surprised they shielded this. I guess Roar of Time maybe does enough because Heatran doesn't exactly have the most bulk. Um, We're going to make it to a Thunder again. And this one would... Just... Wait a minute. Did we just take two shields to zero in this matchup? And we won the matchup. Opponent got so greedy trying to farm. Oh my god. Uh, opponent might just have have here. Oh, Zygarde. Okay, but we have... Oh, the lead was Dialga, so he wants to take all the damage on this Kyogre. Probably going to go for a no shield here. Probably live even an Earthquake. I don't know if you live in Outrage. I think you probably still live in Outrage as well. This guy had Outrage also. No freaking way. Okay, he catches... Blizzard on Dialga, technically neutral, I guess. Um, problem is we still have to throw a Nature's Madness at this. Uh, 4, 8, 12, 16. Yeah, they outpace. So we'll probably go 4, 8, 12. We'll probably go three more Volt Switches because that'll put us at 100 energy. Oh, he goes for two. Interesting. Interesting. I definitely would have gone for four. I think he had enough to go for one more here. Okay. We still get to go for another one here okay okay he's out of energy on zygarde i see what he's going for the double nature's madness although the opponent's shielding here was kind of weird just knowing that he's going to get farmed down and that we're going to go for infinite nature madness so i don't know maybe the opponent was just in a bad situation anyways since they got the uh since they got blizzarded just like the last opponent so gg grat to the 
I think it's a Shundo Best Buddy. Oh, that was the last set because I remember keeping this in because I wanted to show the, um, I think he got to 2,600 on this set. Actually, it would be pretty close. Okay, 25, 68. All right, obviously that's really good. Um, definitely check out his Twitch channel, Elodicolo. Elo, Elo I don't know how he pronounces it. Elodicolo or Elodicolo. Anyways, uh, ch definitely check out his channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Although it's about to say that again. So see you the next one times three. Hey, thank you for watching the video. And if you want to continue to support me, definitely click that subscribe button. You'll see any content coming out. And if you want another video on the same league for some more tips and tricks to other teams, check that video out right there. And I'll see you in the next one.